and the fabulous Ian from the Kilt. Did I say that wrong? Did no. I say that wrong? <laughs> no, no, <but> <laughs> oh, they don't know. They're not awake yet. They'll wake up in a minute. Right, you've got to say hello to everybody now. You Hello, everybody. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we'll be getting down to the business in just a few minutes, but first, I'm actually going to let Buster introduce Ian's video. Now, right. Ian's just sitting there, so behave yourself. Right. I will, I will. <laughs> I always do behave myself, while right. I try my best to. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very bit of a tongue twister, this one, though, isn't it? It's, uh, she sells sanctuary. <laughs> sanctuary. Sanctuary. And it's by the fabulous cult, of course. <laughs> Out there and the tongue twister, she sells sanctuary. I think he did it very well. Nearly, I nearly got it right. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Why is that then? <laughs> I don't know, it's uh, to confuse the general public, I suppose. Just oh. confuse us. Yeah. Well, it's number 15 in the charts. Are you a bit chuffed about that or still surprised? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very shocked. Yeah. <laughs> it just it's keeps chugging up. It's been, I mean, it's been in the, the charts for nearly 12 weeks now. Yeah. Yeah, which is longer than all the records in the top 20 at the moment, so we're like pff, quite shocked. Yeah, there you go. Good. <laughs> well, you haven't been to sleep for two days, have you? No. <laughs> That's, That's how shocked he right. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been in the studio, busy working. Yeah. On yeah. a. Should say hello to Steve Brown if you're still awake. That's our producer. That's your. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's sitting there with the dogs watching this. You're a fairly new band. You've only been going for about two and a half years. Yeah. The Cult. That's right. As I said before, the Kilt. But it's the Cult. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you got any musical influences? Uh, a lot. I mean, pretty like much. Like Buster or somebody like that. Well, we did. We have. We have been acquainted in the past when I was a menial stagehand and he was the, the man on stage and I was working for him. That was a long time ago. But I mean, as regards influences, everything from punk rock to like classical music, you know, Jimi yeah. Hendrix to Nico to Buffy Saint Marie, everything. Because you're not really a commercial band. Do you think you have to be? Um, to be Successful. Accessible. I wouldn't say commercial. I'd say we're, I think a lot of people are turning around to what we're doing because I think people are getting pretty fed up with sort of pop music and that, you know, and getting more into sort of like serious music they can relate to. 
as opposed to like sort of bland, superficial things like Howard Jones and Nick Kershaw. I think people are looking for something a little bit more stimulating, mm -hmm. you know, to get into. So um, I think that's why people are turning around to what we're doing. Bands like ourselves, March Violet, Sisters of Mercy, Blow the Angel. These oh. are bands you probably haven't heard of, but like Sisters of Mercy recently sold out the Albert Hall. And nobody's aware of things like that, you know, four and a half thousand people, and that's what's happening at the moment. Well, we're going to be aware of it in a minute, because after the break, we'll be back with a blast of the new release from Basta and Bad Manners, plus the very first showing anywhere in the world of the brand new video from UB40 and Chrissy Hind. That's absolutely brilliant. I've got you, babe, so I suggest you stick around. Right, good, get it good, out good. for me. Basta Blad Vessel. Right, Blamange and the cult. Well, we'll be having a bit of a natter in just a bit, but first we're going to have a listen to the latest release. From the grooviest and the greatest from Buster Blood Vessel and the boys. It's called a little ditty called Blue Summer. Fake news. That's your new one, right? That's the newest Blue one, Summer. yeah. It's great. Are you thinking of taking up a model, modelling career? Uh, well, I don't get that many offers, mm. unfortunately. Maybe a bit more gusset. You know. A bit more gusset. Mm. <laughs> what's, what's this? That's uh, a, a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it got there. Well, what have you been up to anyway? Uh, well, we've just made an album, which is coming out in about October, called Mental Notes. Yeah? Ah, now videos, that's a touchy point. Our record company won't give us one yet. Really? But we're still arguing with them. <laughs> Now, a lot of people have been comparing you with Brian Ferry. What do you think about that? <laughs> Red spots, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? It's no good for you, yeah. I've tried it. So, are we going to get a tour from Bad Manners? Definitely, a couple of tours. Um, Start, starting anywhere in particular? Uh, about September time. <laughs> Pick up, legs, I'd be frightened. I'm, like, I'm in awe, aren't you? No. You ever thought, thought of wearing a wig? You ever thought of wearing a wig? It's sort of well, like taking on a whole sort well, of new We're going to go heavy metal direction. soon. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we won't be wearing a wig. I'll actually grow my hair really long and lose about six or seven stone. I'd like to see that. I'd be dead good. Yeah. I'm a great headbanger. <laughs> I know, sister. <laughs> Headbanger, well, I know I must be absolutely mad because I'm going to let the Blamange boys Blamange. now, <laughs> Blamange, sorry, introduce our exclusive first play of the next video. I just know I'm going to regret this, but here it goes. Go on then. It's quite a totally wonderful. wonderful. I, must, I must ask you, where have you been for the last year? I'm on the treadmill. We're all those hamsters they put in these <laughs> things. And then, then the records come out the other end. That's what we've been doing. Whipping us, yeah. recording an album. We're recording an album that's coming out soon. Yeah, we've got a single out this month, end of the month. Well, I'm ever so sorry, we haven't really got that much time to talk to you, but I'll make sure you get back on the show. <laughs> He's squirting his foam everywhere. Well, that's about it for another Star Day AM. Roland Rat will be here next week for a few weeks, and then after, I'll be back with another Star Date AM. Till then, it's goodbye from us here. <laughs> goodbye. Right. goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. And we're going to take Sayonara. a break. Sayonara. And the fabulous Ian from the Kilt. Did I say that wrong? Did no. I say that wrong? <laughs> no, <but it's laughs> oh, they don't know. They're not awake kilt. yet. They'll wake up in a minute. Right, we've got to say hello to everybody now. You hello, say... everybody. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we'll be getting down to the business in just a few minutes, but first, I'm actually going to let Buster introduce Ian's video. Now, right. Ian's just sitting there, so behave yourself. Right. I will, I will. <laughs> I always do behave myself while right. I try my best to. <laughs> Uh, it's it's a very bit of a tongue twister this one now, isn't it? It's uh, she sells sanctuary, <laughs> sanctuary, sanctuary, and it's by the fabulous cult, Should of course. <laughs>
out there and the tongue twister. She sells sanctuary. I think you did it very well. Nearly. I nearly got it right. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister. Why is that then? I don't know. It's uh, to confuse the general public, I suppose. Just oh. confuse us. Yeah. Well, it's number 15 in the charts. Are you a bit chuffed about that or still surprised? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very shocked. Yeah. <laughs> it just it keeps chugging up. It's been, I mean, it's been in the, the charts for nearly 12 weeks now. Yeah. Yeah, which is longer than all the records in the top 20 at the moment, so we're, like, pff, quite shocked. Yeah, there you go. Good. <laughs> you haven't been to sleep for two days, have you? No. <laughs> That's, That's how shocked he is. Yeah. <laughs> been in the studio, busy working? Yeah. On yeah. a... should say hello to Steve Brown if you're still awake. That's our producer. That's your... <laughs> yeah, he's what? sitting there with the dogs, watching this. You're a fairly new band. You've only been going for about two and a half years. Yeah. The Cult. That's right. As I said before, the Kilt. But it's the Cult. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you got any musical influences? Uh, a lot. I mean, pretty like much. Like Buster or somebody like that. Well, we did. We have. We have been acquainted in the past when I was a menial stagehand and he was the, the man on stage and I was working for him. That was a long time ago. But I mean, as regards influences, everything from punk rock to like classical music, you know, yeah. Jimi Hendrix to Nico to Buffy Saint Marie, everything. Because you're not really a commercial band. Do you think that you have to be? Um, to be Successful. Accessible. I wouldn't say commercial. I'd say we're, I think a lot of people are turning around to what we're doing because I think people are getting pretty fed up with sort of pop music and that, you know, and getting more into sort of like serious music they can relate to. As opposed to like sort of bland, superficial things like Howard Jones and Nick Kershaw. I think people are looking for something a little bit more stimulating, mm -hmm. you know, to get into. So um, I think that's why people are turning around to what we're doing. Bands like ourselves, March Violet, Sisters of Mercy, Blarm the Angel. These are bands you probably haven't heard of, but like Sister Mercy recently sold out the Albert Hall and nobody's aware of things like that, you know, 4,500 people, and that's what's happening at the moment. Well, we're going to be aware of it in a minute because after the break, we'll be back with a blast of the new release from Buster and Bad Manners, plus the very first showing anywhere in the world of the brand new video from UB40 and Chrissy Hind. That's absolutely brilliant. I've got you, babe, so I suggest you stick around. Right, get it good, out good. for me.